All right. So, class, uh, for this problem, no sample problem number five, um, we are asked here to find no the moment of inertia. Okay, where is my ano? Okay, the moment of inertia, no along uh along the centroidal x-axis. So this is our reference axis here, no the centroidal x-axis. So we have here this uh composite figure. Right, so this is composed of uh, this is a square, and we have here two triangles, right? So for this composite area, you now the location of uh, the um eccentroidal axis, you no, know, it's not uh, actually it's not uh, no, no. Uh, if you are going back to the uh, no, original problem, you now this is the only uh data that we have, you no, know, or the location that we have for x sub o, but it doesn't show here, class, what is its, let's say, location, let's say, from the base of the, the area, the composite figure. No, So we don't know that. That's why we solve this. No, we will need to solve no, this uh, y bar no, uh, so that uh, we can ano nga, no, kubaga, eh, determine the location of x sub o so that uh, we know no, where we are going to measure no, the uh, centroids or the distance from the centroids of um, our area or each area here, no, going to the reference axis because in this case, class, uh, the reference axis, nga, as I've mentioned, no, the moment of inertia that we're going to solve here, the reference axis is the centroidal x-axis. Okay, so we already determined this, no, this y bar, no, so we just apply here, no, the um, solution that we do, no, in determining the uh y coordinate no of a of the centroid no of um a composite figure or a composite area so in this case class let's say for this composite area no more likely it's a uh, centroid will be somewhere here no so the the y coordinate no of this centroid <clears throat> no from the base no of this composite figure is uh measured as y bar so this is the y bar that we uh, determine from here Okay, all right. So from here, class, I think we can now uh, solve no for the uh, centroidal moment of inertia along the x-axis. All right. So this will be our reference axis. So you can write the solution. No. So what we're going to determine here is the moment of inertia, and then uh, let's put the subscript here. Now we're in the subscript here. Will be the uh, reference axis. Okay, uh, where you are going to get the moment of inertia. So this will just be equal to the summation of the centroidal moment of inertia of each area. Okay, in this case, plus we have three areas here, uh, uh, one square and two triangles. So we're going to get their uh, centroidal moment of inertia individually uh, plus a transfer term. No, so we will need this transfer term. No, if the centroid of each area is not coinciding, no, with the reference axis x sub o, right? So from here, class, uh, I think we uh, can start with uh, this uh, no, square. So let's say we determine first the moment of inertia of this square, no, from the reference or about the reference axis x sub o. So from here, class, we get first the uh, centroidal moment of inertia, x centroidal moment of inertia of uh, this square. So this is just like a rectangle. Okay, class, can you mention what is the uh, formula for the x centroidal moment of inertia for rectangles? BH cube over 3 pa. BH cube? Over 12 pa. Over 12. So this is the centro x centroidal moment of inertia for a rectangle. So... Okay, so this is 6cm as you can see here. So that is uh, 6. What is its height? All right, so its height is also 6. So this will be cube over 12. We just follow this. Huh? So this is just the eccentroidal moment of inertia of the square. So you check no, if we still need to add a transfer term here. In this case, kasi class, uh, the centroid all right, of the square um probably class no or definitely it will just be at the geometric center right so it doesn't actually coincide no with our reference axis x sub o so meaning there is a distance d here so what will be this distance d so we name it let's say d sub 1 
All right, so this distance class, this is from the centroid, okay, of the square going to the reference axis X sub O. So as you can see, class, your Y bar here is 2.5 centimeter, right? So this is 2.5 centimeter. And um, let's say the position of the centroid, no, more likely class, uh, or uh, obviously this is just half of six centimeter. So that will be three centimeters. So the, di the distance that we need here class will just be the difference of three centimeter. Okay, let me fix that. Medyo magulo yun. Teka lang. Ano natin? All right. So this is three centimeter. No? The location of the centroid. All right. Going to the reference X sub O. So that will just be the difference of three centimeter and 2.5 centimeter. All right. Do you follow that class? So that will be the uh, no, distance one. Right. So I'll just write the distance one here. That is just three centimeter minus 2.5. So obviously that is just 0 0.5 centimeter. Right. So from here, class, uh, the area. So we have to add here a transfer term. Now we're in the area of the square is six centimeter times it's uh, it's just base times height. Right. The area for a rectangle or a square. So it will just be six times six, the area. And then for its distance, the, it will just be 0 0.5. Right, so you will square this, right? So from here, this is just the ano, moment of inertia of the square, no? from the uh, reference X sub O, reference uh, X sub O axis, right? So we still need to uh, determine also the uh, moment of inertia of these two triangles. So let's say we consider this triangle. So this triangle, the height of this is six centimeter. Right, and its base, as you can see, naman din, no. So this is 18 centimeter, and the middle is six centimeter. So this is actually symmetrical, no. So you can say that uh, 18 minus six, uh, that is 12. So it will just be divided to two. So that will be six centimeter here, and then six centimeter here, right? So from here, class, the the base of the triangle is six centimeter, and its height is six centimeter. So you have to determine the the moment of inertia, no of the uh of the triangle uh with respect to the x sub o so let's say all right so let's just write here at the ano na lang siguro dito sa baba so we are going to sum it up all right so for the eccentroidal moment of inertia of a triangle class what is our formula for that bh cube over 36 all right uh, that will be the base of the ano of the triangle that we are considering? Six po. Six, and its height is? Six din po. Six also. So this will be six times six cubed over 36. So this is the eccentroidal moment of inertia of this triangle. Now, do we need to add a transfer term here? So to, to determine if we still need to add a transfer term, nga, locate the centroid of the, um, of the triangle. So for this triangle, no, we already discussed this class, diba? In ano, in our in our discussion for centroid. So more likely it's centroid will be somewhere here. So we already know how to determine this distance class. Let's say from the from the bottom class, what will be this distance? No, the, the distance from the centroid, no, going to the bottom of the of this ano, of this figure. What will be this distance? H over three po. All right, so if you have, let's say, this triangle, nga, and let's say uh, this is height h, right? So if you want to determine this distance, this is just, ano, diba? h over 3. So what will be the h? 6. So 6 divided by, so this distance is just h over 3, right? All right, so this is just 6 divided by uh, 3. So that will be the, uh, what will be that distance? That will be 2 centimeter, right? Is that right? Two centimeter? Oh, so that's right, right? Ano daw? Kaya pa, sir. Kaya pa. <laughs> anyway, so as you can see here, class, this is two centimeter. No? So our X sub O, which is the reference axis, is actually 2.5 centimeter from the bottom. All right. So from here, class, we know that there will be a distance D, right, from the a centroid of the triangle going to the reference X sub O axis. So let's say this is distance two. So our distance two here class, 
Okay, our distance to here will just be uh, your y sub r, which, which is 2.5 centimeter, right? And then minus 2, so that you can get this distance too. Are you following? Okay, ka lang. 2.5 minus 2. Is that correct? Our distance too. Again, the distance from x sub o going to the centroid of the triangle, that is just 2.5 centimeter minus 2. Do you get that? Are you following class? Following, following. All right. But anyway, so since we have here a distance D, so definitely we need here a transfer term. So for the area of a triangle, class, what is the area of a, uh, of a triangle? Nga? Okay, the area for a triangle is one half base times height. So for this triangle that we are considering, what is the, the base? Six. Six. And the height is? Six. Four. All right. So times uh, distance square or d squared. So our d square here is 0 0.5 centimeter. So we just uh, substitute that here, 0 0.5 square. Okay, so from here, actually this, uh, no, this uh, moment of inertia, this is the moment of inertia for this, uh, na, for this triangle. But as you can see here, class, this is just the same with this triangle, right? Let's say this area three. So we can just actually multiply this by two. No, that no. If you are going to consider also this, uh, no, uh, third area, which is just the same with the uh, second area, right? So we can just multiply it by two because it will just give you the same. Ano naman, de ba? Moment of inertia. All right. So it plus. Can you input this in your calculator? Okay. Anyway, so this will be the answer class for this problem.